you join me back on the good old meadow lake um, I've got a couple of nights at my disposal this week as always um, I'm sort of sticking to the plan of coming on here every so often um, next week I should be able to do three so I think the three should be spent on the airfield lake my uh, elbow wrist, well my elbow is still an absolute pain I think I caused a little bit of a problem last week when I went across the bridge to be perfectly honest with you so I came for a drive around here, did a couple of laps, had a little bit of a wander around it's not fishing brilliantly to be perfectly honest with you, in fact it's fishing quite hard um, I like the airfield lake which I think is fishing extremely easy at the moment so I might end up with a couple of, couple of good nights kept to be perfectly honest with you but, uh, yeah, you know, I've got several options in this swim. I've got the, the bay to the right of me here. I've got the margins to the left of me here, which all look fantastic features. Unless you pick up a car and it just dives straight under and underneath and straight in the trees and say good nights to it. So I don't bother with that anymore. <laughs> I don't think there's absolutely zero points in trying to do that whatsoever. Well, oh, I've got a, my door open at sort of like three quarters so I can get the get the hold of my rods in whether I stay like this all night I don't know uh, depends on the mozzie front to be perfectly honest with you but no we're all set up now it's oh, what is it I don't know must be coming up to four o'clock now uh, I got here about about one it probably took me until two-ish to work things out I, I did nearly go down and have a look at the um, airfield lake but I Knowing the wind direction and the way things are blowing, I knew I'd get very, very tempted to um, sort of go out on that island or another swim that would involve pushing the barrow here. I've just got the barrow in and out of the car, so I can do that. If the conditions are really, really good, I can actually come back and do Friday night. So um, we shall see what we what we fancy then. I don't think I'll do it. I've got three nights next week. Um, the following week's a little bit up in the air. Um, it's probably three nights as well if I'm lucky. So I'm going to try and sort of stick to three nights from next week onwards, really. Because uh, the middle of August. In the middle of August? I think it's the middle of August. I think I'm uh, having a couple of weeks off. Just doing stuff with the uh, family, sort of beach days and things like that. Visiting the odd zoo and things. We're not going, we're not going to. Gonna go far, we're just gonna clown around really, might sort of uh, camp for a night. I don't know, but I'm certainly not gonna be going fishing. Don't know yet, we're not really sure exactly what's going on, really, what's gonna occur. Suffice to say, it's a little bit of family time, so I'm not gonna complain about anything like that. I've got my little infrared light up over there, my sonar light, but sensor light, sonar light, mm, that's it, uh, sensor light. So, not quite sure I'm gonna need that this close to the this close to the rods. <laughs> it's about the closest I've been to the rods in about um I'll say twenty years, but no it's not. I have been closer recently, haven't I? I've uh, fished the old uh, special estate lake. So uh, yeah. I'm arguing with that. Really, really nice, looking really good. Feeling pretty confident really, despite the fact how badly it's fishing at the moment, but you know, no one's really catching out one prolific, there's no prolific swim to be honest with you, so I think the carp are still yet to spawn, so they're a little bit moody about what they're up to, so I've sort of gone all out, two rods in one spot, three kilos of bait, and I'm just going to sit on it for two nights, and if nothing happens, well, nothing happens, you know, you never know, they might pop in a feed, they might not pop in a feed, but this is the swim I spent um, quite a lot of time in last year, or well, over the winter. So, nice to sort of play around in there, get a little bit of bait, ribs and drabs, you know, out there. Just have to see, really. Anyway, I'm going to chill out and relax now, to be honest with you. It's, uh, yeah, nice to be set up. It's warm and a bit humid. Let them in the wind. But there we go. What an absolute splendid evening. As if by magic, I've just heard a fish top down there. Do you know what was that? 
that is. Oh, there we go. And again, in fact. Okay, so they are out and about on that margin. In fact, they're in a little margin, right in front of a little margin swim there. But uh, I am torn with the idea of fishing at some point in time. Uh, so that's good to see. So I've seen one over, one over there on that margin. I want a view. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. And I've seen one along that margin over there. Let's see for another spectacular view. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I can ho only hope I get forever closer, realistically. Aren't I? Absolutely beautiful. Luckily enough, if it wasn't for the... I can't hear really. Smelly cows. I'd have uh, not remembered to do a video this evening. It's been absolutely gorgeous. But uh, I can hear them. I can smell them. All smelly cows over there. Just in the field just behind me. <laughs> you can see they're looking at me. <laughs> Beautiful. Hey? Beautiful smelly cows. What more could you ask? Oh, some little baby ones as well. Rocky, my kids will be amazed. Fabulous, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Don't mind the cows or the smell, to be perfectly honest with you. Might be a little bit miffed with the mooing in the early hours tomorrow morning, which we'll just have to see. There we go. But, what can I say? Really is nice to see popping carp. Really is, I think. Really, really is. Absolutely beautiful to see topping carp. I must say, I'm a lot more confident than I uh, was earlier. Not that I wasn't confident, but I hadn't really seen much. I hadn't a great deal to go on, to be perfectly honest with you. It's just a little bit of a a little bit of a punt, really. Whether anything comes from it, I don't know. Head up the track. This place is absolutely stunning in the summer, to be honest with you. Absolutely stunning. I don't know. I should probably come here a little bit more often in the summer. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. Really is absolutely beautiful. There we go. The endless track. We all drive round. What an evening it is. What an absolute evening it is. Really is lovely, isn't it? Really is lovely. Hey. These little uh, snapshots of everything. Really is nice. Really is nice. Hey. Magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Ah dear. Well, you never know. My efforts might pay off, to be honest with you. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. I feel I've made the right decision. I feel I've made the right choice. I know I'm not fishing the margins, but you can't put a bait. I've just seen fish, not in a million years. You know, it's you know, it's not 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 possible to even get anything in. So I am starting to wonder whether they are really hanging it out in the margins. I don't know. Have to see. Just have to see. But there we go. It's so feel a chill in the air now, I must admit. Maybe nine-ish, not even that, I think. It's all peaceful and quiet and tranquil. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right then. I'm going to get my bag now and lay there and enjoy the view, really. Um, I leave the front open as it is like that. Sort of pitch up the door and rolled up one of the sides, gives me a little bit better access to 
scraping and getting out and grabbing a rod really uh, if it gets a little bit misty and foggy i might have to oh, change things around so i was just sitting down and all goes a bit skew with really but yeah looking beautiful looking hopeful feeling feeling very confident i am feeling very confident uh, not necessarily for tonight, but I'm feeling very confident throughout the session that something will come along my way. I might just have to sort of bide my time and wait and not sort of, you know, not sort of panic too much about anything. But, yeah, we shall see. Right. Catch up with you soon then, realistically. Well, good morning. It's, uh, we're about quarter to nine, actually, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm a bit on the, bit on the drag. I was up at, um, just before four o'clock, having a wee, and so I decided to sort of stay up, have a brew, and we're just filling my coffee up with a cup of milk at the moment. Um, decided to have a brew, and I uh, could sort of like watch as the lake, as, as, as long as possible. I knew I needed the sleep at some point, so I gave it until about, uh, Five didn't really, didn't really see a great deal. Apart from geese and seagulls, really. Um, but yeah, I haven't had anything yet. I wasn't really sure what I would the first night. More a little bit of sort of uh, waiting, really. Um, I know fish are sort of are in the area because I saw them last night up to the left of me, but quite a way up to the left of me. And um, I think there's something over to the sort of right over there along that margin. Not 100% sure. Could have been one of the, the geese. There's a sort of a group of geese that seem to sort of commit themselves to sort of being being up there and things. So I, I don't know. Not 100% sure about that one. Sort of 50 50. I'm sort of mulling over what I saw, whether it's sort of like a fishy sign. I don't know realistically. Um, Working up this morning now, the wind's sort of southwesterly, which is supposed to do. They will swing around. Uh, it's a cloud, cloudy old day today, which is pretty good. So I think we stand a little bit of chance of catching something during during the day at the moment. Um, no doubt the sun will appear at some point. I think I can't remember what the man said, um, but the weatherman changes his mind every hour, so it doesn't really matter what the weatherman says. But at the moment, there's a lot of cloud. Um, it's a nice, sort of good blow. There's no rain, nothing forecast, so still sort of pretty much sticking to what it is realistically so this should swing back swing back round about um, late afternoon sort of early evening something like that and blow down here for the night and tomorrow morning which is quite good so we shall see i don't quite know i haven't got to be home until like the afternoon so i don't know whether to sort of sit out by the morning or um pack up and sort of just take a little rod around and uh Play around in the day room to see if I can sort of tempt something out there. Um, I generally prefer my short sort of little ten foot rod for doing that. I need to get that out of the loft. I must admit, I wasn't completely expecting to actually come here. Yeah, I was quite busy at the weekend with family stuff, so I didn't dig it. Didn't dig it out. So I should have done then. Uh, well, I definitely should have done to be honest with you. So yeah, that's. That's that update so far. Well, that'll be wind on the line, unfortunately, because it's starting to pick up and blow through here, and it's going to blow quite strong for a while and then swing back round again. So I've got sort of both aspects of um, in, in the new wind, or sort of the back of the new wind, and then in the wind again, really. So I don't know. I sort of forgot what the world's been doing most of the week really I don't know if this, this is the new I think this is the new wind um, it sort of seems to be swinging around constantly it doesn't sort of stick to the same direction for more than 48 hours nowadays so uh, this is the this is what could have drawn me to the um, airfield like this wind again but I need to I need to come down here and, and fish a few sessions um, you know, just to sort of keep my hand in, understand what's going on, where the fish may well be. I can certainly do with spawning. I think that would help everybody out. Um, 
we shall see. Right, I'm going to uh, stop this and show you the lake at the moment. There we go. There we go. Very grey, overcast day with the wind starting to pick up from the southwest. Nothing major, but it is blowing. So the geese I was talking about earlier, I said it was still along that bank. Uh, but yeah, it's I said. There's a, I feel there's a possibility of a fish. I really do. It's gotta stick with it, I think, and, and see see where we go realistically. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. Not quite know if I'll come back out and do Friday night. Friday night looks quite interesting as well. A bit of rain coming through. I can wait for the, what the weatherman really says about that. And I might uh, pop out and do Friday night. But uh, might not really. Might have a bit of a weekend at home, to be fair. Uh, so I've been at home. I've not been home two Saturday mornings in a row, I think. I can't remember now. No. Just one. And it's just, yeah, it's. Don't, don't like it. I'd rather just sort of wake up. Home Saturday morning with the family and have Friday night with the family. So I could uh, come down and do a few hours in the day swim, which is slightly tempting. But we'll see. We shall see. Radio. Let's. Fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed indeed. Right. Well, here we are. Um. Well, update from today, we're now sort of six o'clock in the evening, so we're coming into the second night now. Um, I spotted some a couple of fish show you know, one last night that I was hoping might sort of move, but it didn't because I haven't had anything. And the other one over there, sort of mid morning today, so I come to the conclusion that I had to sort of you know recast the right hand rod. So uh, the right hand rod's over there on that margin there, all nicely locked up. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I've seen another fish come out about half an hour ago, but um, I wouldn't blank. It probably is the smallest fish in the lake. A little, tiny little thing came out for one second. I thought it was a tench, but no, it was uh, clearly a carp when it went back in. Uh, yeah, it came right out of the water. <laughs> Ah oh dear, but anyway, but no, it's going to turn out to be a beautiful evening, I think. It does look really good out here. As ever, you get fantastic photographs from this, this swim, fantastic views. Uh, you know, the way the sun is coming out, as it's sort of the last sort of blue sky and everything out there. Um, I'm sure the wind was supposed to change the northwest, it hasn't done that yet, but oddly it's just really, really picking up now from the southwest, so... One thinks it could be that uh, time of the evening when it's about to swing. I don't know really, that's what I'm hoping about that rod over there. It hasn't produced me a fish during the daylight hours, which I thought it might. It might produce me something, uh, might produce me something overnight. I have to be just uh, very, very careful how, I, uh, um, how it goes on that one. We'll have to see. I think I had the odd little, tiny little rain shower on and off today. Nothing, nothing hardly anything really. Uh, but uh, conditions have been good all day. It's amazing, really. Now uh, I'll we'll just have to see. I've rebated the left hand rod as well, actually. I've chained over to a um, classic corn wafter this time, instead of a catalyst wafter, just in case, because nothing seems to sort of come along and done the thing. Now, uh, the rod out there, I've got a nice, sort of, nice white fruit zing, a little bit of a sort of different flavour. Also, white stand out as well, so if anything whizzing around there, might uh, you know, be a little bit inquisitive and pick something up. Thinking if I'm really lucky, I might get a sunset, but actually, oddly enough, I've got a um, rainbow over there. Hang on a minute. There you go, it's a little bit of a remnant of that rainbow now I've zoomed in. There was a little bit of a uh, thing around, didn't I? There we go, I might zoom out a little bit more. I can't zoom out when I'm playing, that's the trouble. Or recording. Yeah, see, so I think there's a little bit of rain around, so a little bit of rain. Rainbow goes back down over there, you just vaguely see it. Yeah, it's there, but it's a lot, to, 
harsher out there, which uh, is quite good really.